Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today it is time for a review of Christine Dior's Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So Miss Dior Normal Eau de Parfum is like a consistent bestseller and Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet is kind of like a version of Miss Dior. So it comes in a very similar bottle, it's just um, square rather than um, oblong and it has pink liquid in it, not to be confused with the Misty Art Eau de Toilette which comes in a similar bottle. Um, it is, the face of the Dior is Natalie Portman and has been for a while and I have always loved the branding of Miss Dior. You know, I think the colours are beautiful, the adverts are gorgeous, clearly very expensive. Um, it's kind of Dior's flagship perfume and I can see why it is always such a good bestseller purely down to the branding and um, never mind when you get to the actual smell itself. So Blooming Bouquet um, is one of those fragrances that is really accurately named. Um, it really does smell like a bouquet of flowers. So I'm wearing it just now. And the main floral notes that you get, and that you really do get a floral notes here, are um, like a peony and roses. So imagine that you've just got like a massive bouquet of roses and peonies and you just smelt it. That is what this fragrance smells like. It really is very pretty. Underneath that you have the notes from Miss Dior the sort of apricot type notes, a little bit sort of sweeter powdery undertone, but the blooming bouquet element of it is the dominant fragrance, I'd say maybe 70 to 80% of the smell, and then 20% is that kind of powdery apricot of the original Miss Dior. I have been pleasantly surprised with this fragrance because I thought, because it's an eau de toilette, because it's a kind of follow on perfume from Miss Dior, that it was going to be quite weak and a bit like a lesser version of normal Miss Dior, but I actually think it's really pretty. I think it would be nice for work, it would be nice for like so many different age groups, um, I don't think it's particularly like only for young people, I think you could wear this at any age. It's incredibly feminine, like incredibly feminine, and it's very romantic. I think it would be a gorgeous wedding perfume. Um, you could wear this on holiday. It's not sickly. Um, it's not massively fresh, but it's the kind of floral smell that isn't clawing and overwhelming. Um, you know, at very, very first, it is a little bit intense floral sort of potpourri but that soon fades very quickly and I've just sprayed one spray here on my arm and it you know it's lasting well it's very clear the fragrance so I think with a few sprays all over put some in your hair I think they also do a rollerball now but I could be wrong um, I think this fragrance would last on you for a good few hours so overall I am impressed the price tag is probably quite high even though it is an eau de toilette I'm gonna take a guess that it's about 80 pounds um, so you know you're buying Dior it's not gonna be cheap um, but it is a pretty smell and I can't imagine anyone not liking this if they received it as a gift you know it's just classy and beautiful and smells really nice smells really feminine so I hope you found that review useful, if you did then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, check out some of my other perfume reviews, but that's it, so thank you so much for watching and bye for now!